Hello, my name's Ann Doherty, and I am one of the teachers at the Tucson Museum of Art Camp. Um, and one of the projects, the project we are doing today is one of the projects I teach. It is bubble painting. This is an example. For this project, you will need the following materials. You will need liquid watercolor or food dye. You will need bubble soap, bubbles. You will need a bubble wand. You will need containers for your mix. You'll need something protective for the surface. And of course, you'll need paper. Okay, so first things first, I've already poured my liquid watercolors into these three containers. I've also poured a little bit of bubble soap into the blue and the green. I'm gonna pour just a little bit more into the yellow. You don't need that much. And then you are gonna carefully swirl them. You don't wanna stir too much because then you won't have any bubbles. And it would be best if you had three bubble wands for the different colors, but I only have two. So I'm just gonna do the best I can with the two I have. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in the yellow. I'm gonna stir it gently. Okay, I'm not stirring fast. The blue's been stirred, and I'm just gonna tap this gently, and I'm gonna go into the green. So my blue and green might mix a little bit, but that's okay, okay? And then you're gonna have your piece of paper. You're gonna dip your wand all the way into the color till you can see bubbles. And then you're gonna go over to your paper, and you're gonna blow. Make sure you're blowing and not spitting, okay? And you're gonna start to see bubbles show up. Some of them will actually show up on the paper and stay for a few moments, which is super neat. So you just put it near the paper, and you blow. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of blue. Okay. Oh, I got some different bubbles that time. Oh, that one just splatted. And sometimes they do, they just splat sometimes. And all the colors will look a little bit darker when you do them than when, they sh when they're dry. Okay, so they'll look dark when you do them. Sorry, it's very windy. But when you're done, they'll be dry. And they'll be a little bit lighter because they have soap in them. So it's not as strong. Now I'm gonna do yellow. Sometimes some of the colors just plop. They don't work as well, and that's okay too. So you're just tapping, and then you're blowing. <clears throat> I don't think my yellow has quite enough bubbles in it because they're just splatting. So I'm going to put a little bit more mix Whee! in there. I'm going to stir it around. Remember, we're stirring gently. And I'm going to dip. Uh oh. I'm going to dip. The wind is hopefully going to cooperate. And look, there's a bubble. And now I'm going to pop it. And then when you're done, you have a bubble painting masterpiece. Ta-da! Simple as that. And it's pretty easy cleanup. Now, you should know, the dye may stick to your hands, but it will come off in time. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. Have a good Sunday.